Hello. Um, this video is a preview of the Kia EV6 GT, the, the unicorn of the EV6 range, which has been a long time of coming. Um, I'm using the materials from Kia's website and I've edited it all down and together and re-edited some of the stuff at the end to um, some music, um, which you can skip if you don't like. Um, it's just the driving dynamics videos and then I'll just go through all the features of what's different between um, the GT and the GT Line S which is the next trim down. The GT price is uh, 61595 uh, which is 5500 more than a heat pump all wheel drive GT Line S um, and I'm just going to put this video on the screen and run through the differences First thing on the screen you'll see um, is that the grille is different and the tiger nose detailing is different. It's got a completely new plastics compared to a GT Line S. Just scrolling along the front of it. Now you can see more of the grille there, um, which you've still got the vents in, which like the, the rest have. Um, you've got lime green calipers and operated brakes with 21 inch tyres and different alloys compared to the rest of the range. You've also got a different back end and a different reversing light trim. Uh, also you've got two vertical kind of reflectors or lights. They look like the lights in some of the videos I've seen but I'm not 100% sure they are lights. But uh, we'll see if we ever get our hands on one. Uh, Again, more detail looking at the rear end. And more detail. That, those um, five light bars and reverse lights are the, I think it's like the Kia logo. You get that in the, in the new um, software on the car now as, as a kind of hourglass. That's the GT badge on the back door, which is the only real way you can tell it, apart from the green brakes. And that's the new, um, you get new pop-ups when you press the GT mode button. You've got a lime green GT mode uh, button as well as a paddle. I think there's a paddle behind the steering wheel as well. I've read it's not visible in this much. You, you can see um, that pop-up coming up the side of the entertainment screen, which is different. And uh, in GT mode, you, you've got different um, vehicle graphics. also got um, the GT line badge on the dashboard. A small close-up of uh, the GT uh, mode button on the opposite side to the usual drive mode button. And you've got uh, different seats which are not electric. Uh, you've got to manually adjust them and you've got the lime green trim around the outside. And that's the GT badge on the dashboard more lime green trim and they're pretty nice seats bucket seats more lime green both the back and the front have got lime green um, I think they're still heated um, from what I've read as well as not having uh, motorized seats you also don't get a sunroof the motorized sunroof is missing from this um, it's got to be to save weight and for performance reasons, I would guess. You now get a pop-up on the uh, instrument screen when you're pressing and changing drive modes. And that's the GT mode screen. And you have a pop-up for GT mode in the entertainment screen. Uh, and then the settings, um, you've got a, a driving dynamics menu and my drive mode. Um, so you can set up um, the motors, the steering, the suspension, um, electric, ELSD is electronic slip differential. And then um, st electronic st stability control as well. All of those are settings you can save. So it's... Uh, 
fully adjustable. Um, you also get GT carpets by the look of it. And the back seats have got the green trim as well. I do like the seats. And in the boots you've got these um, extra bits of trim. That kind of looks like metal. So is the EV6 GT worth it over a GT Line S all wheel drive with heat pump? Um, it's 5,500 more. Um, I think it is. I mean, you get um, 585 horsepower. Um, the front's got 218, the back's got 367, uh, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in three and a half seconds, which is 0 to 62 miles an hour. Uh, top speed of 260 kilometers an hour, or 161. Um, the only downside is um, colors are only black and white, and the gray is no longer available. Um, and you don't get the powered seats and sunroof that you get in the GT Line S. Um, delivery is currently set for the end of 2022, but we'll see. Um, I've cut together to some uh, music, a driving dynamics videos and re-edited them. Uh, if it's something you want to see, just keep leave it playing um, or just skip it I'll put the index mark in the video. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy if you enjoy this kind of thing.